Hi, this is Elizabeth Wilson from the Perth Pilates Studio presenting for eFit30. Today I'm going to be taking you through a 30 minute Pilates workout for beginners. We're going to be working your core, mobilizing your spine, and working your upper and lower body. Now remember, if you like today's workout, please hit the like button below this video and remember to subscribe to us at eFit30 for future video updates. All right, let's get started. We're going to come down onto our backs, lying with your feet just hip width apart. Arms are going to be relaxed down by your sides, shoulders just falling wide back into the mat. And we're going to start with a little rock of the pelvis. You take a breath in to prepare, and as you breathe out, sink the tummy, let the lower back just gently flatten into the mat. And then just as you inhale, release the pelvis back to a neutral position. Let's try that again. Exhale, sink the tummy, roll the pelvis back so the lower back flattens into the mat. Inhale, allow the pelvis to release back to its start position. And once more, exhale, sink the tummy, roll the pelvis back, deepen that belly and then release the pelvis away. Now we're going to extend that movement. We take a breath in. As you breathe out, sink the tummy, roll the pelvis back, and allow your hips to start to peel up off the floor, one vertebra at a time rolling up through the spine. Breathe in once you reach the point where the weight's resting just between your shoulders. Take a breath in there. As you exhale, roll it down through the spine. One vertebra, then the next, then the next, curling all the way down through a flat lower back and release the pelvis to neutral. Let's try that again, breathing in. Breathe out, sink the tummy, roll the pelvis back, really deepen that belly, reach the knees long over the toes, scoop the tummy in even more if you can. Breathe in at the top there. As you breathe out, keep the hips high as long as you can as the top of the spine starts to roll down. So you're really trying to get that segmental movement through the whole length of the spine. Down through a flat lower back here, and release the pelvis away to neutral. Breathe in at the bottom. Breathe out, sink the tummy, roll the pelvis back, reach the tailbone up to the ceiling. Again, reach the knees long over the toes. You wanna to try and find a sense of stretch through the front of the thighs here. To get that, the more you think of the top of the hips tipping back and the tailbone tipping up, you'll find it. Breathe in there. Exhale, top of the spine rolls down, one vertebra at a time, peeling all the way down through a flat lower back. And let's just do two more repetitions here. So again, sink the tummy, roll the pelvis back, deepen the belly, reach that tailbone up to the ceiling, scoop the tummy in just a little more, breathe in at the top, and then exhale, roll it down, one vertebra, then the next, creating extra space between the vertebra as you go. Tailbone releases down heavy at the bottom, and our final repetition, deepen the belly, roll the pelvis back, Scoot that tummy and reach the tailbone up towards the ceiling. Inhale, pause at the top, and then exhale, rolling it down one vertebra, then the next, then the next, coming all the way down through that flat lower back. And release the tailbone right down to neutral. From here, we float the arms up towards the ceiling, palms face in towards each other. On the inhale, reach your fingertips up towards the ceiling. The shoulder blades go wide on the back. As you exhale, let the shoulders drop back heavy towards the mat, widening across the collarbones. We'll just try that again. Breathe in, reach the arms up, and then exhale, release the shoulders back. Now keep the shoulder blades really wide and flat on the mat. This time we inhale and we widen the arms out to the sides of the room, reaching fingertip to fingertip out to either side of the room. Hover just above the ground, see if you can get a little sense of stretch and opening through the front of the chest. And then as you exhale, press the hands back towards each other. You're softening and folding at the front of the shoulder. It's almost like you're compressing the air between your hands as they come back towards each other. Try that again. Inhale, open wide across the chest, stretching out fingertip to fingertip. And then exhale, press the hands back towards each other, wide across the collarbones. Keep the shoulder blades really wide and flat behind you. Now this time again we inhale, we open, we reach, stretch out through the fingertips, reach a little longer here and then allow the arms to rest down into the floor. Deep in the belly, you're going to float one leg to tabletop, draw the tummy in even more, see if you can really get it sinking flat as you allow the other leg up as well. Now here you want your knees together, 
Drop your feet down just a tiny bit, just so they're out of your line of vision. And check here that your tummy is sinking flat. If it's doming out or if your back is lifting away from the mat, Sink the tummy in a little more by bringing the knees a little closer towards you to keep the work in the core, not in the back muscles. From here, you're going to breathe in. Take the knees over towards one side, just halfway over. The head can gently roll back the opposite way. Exhale, deepen the belly, allow the legs to float back up to centre. And then inhale, take the knees over to the other side, wrapping the ribs around so the rib cage goes heavy back towards the mat. Exhale, sink the tummy, allow the feet to return back to centre. And again, breathe in, taking the knees over to one side, the head rolls the other way. Exhale, deepen the belly, lower tummy draws up and in, and take it again to the other side. Now ideally as we're working here, we're trying to keep our knees pretty much directly above our hips. But if you start to feel any work into the back muscles, or if you feel like the tummy muscles are doming out or bulging out, bring the knees that little bit closer towards you, and that'll enable you to get a little bit more sink through the tummy and work the muscles the right way. Inhale again to take those knees over, wrapping around through the rib cage. Exhale, deepening the belly, rotating through the waist and root back. We'll do one more on each side. As you return to centre each time, try and keep your arms really quiet so the return really comes all from the core, from those tummy muscles, rather than from the upper body. Let's exhale here, allow the legs back to centre, pause and take a breath in. As you exhale, deepen the belly, allow one foot down to the ground and then the other. Now check here that your pelvis is in that nice neutral position, so you've got a little bit of a curve under the lower back. The back is neither completely flattened into the mat nor is it really arched away. You've just got a comfortable natural curve. From here we take the fingers around, hands interlocked behind the head. Support the weight of the back of the head here. Take a breath in. As you breathe out, pelvic floor lifts and the lower tummy zips up and you're going to curl the head and shoulders up off the mat. Take the gaze down towards the lower belly as you curl up and really see it sinking flat. Breathe in there, exhale and roll it down. Just starting to warm those tummy muscles up now. We take a breath in again, breathe out, sink the tummy, lower belly up and in, curl the head and shoulders, draw the belly in flat, inhale, hold, exhale, rolling it back down. Breathe in again. Exhale, slide the gaze down and curl. Think of one vertebra, then the next, then the next, curling up through that upper back. Inhale there, exhale, roll it back down. And two more repetitions, breathing in. Exhale, pelvic floor and lower tummy zip and then curl the head and shoulders up, inhale. Exhale, rolling it back down. Final perfect repetition here, take a breath in. Breathe out, sink the tummy, pelvic floor lifts and curl. Inhale, hold and then exhale and roll it back down. On the next repetition, we're gonna add into it. So we take a breath in again. Breathe out, zip, lower tummy and pelvic floor curl. Hold that position there. Reach the hands to the ceiling and back behind the thighs. Take hold of the thighs. Use the hands to help you hollow and curl just a little higher. Make sure the tummy's really flat. Reach the hands back up and behind the head and hold and lower the body back down. And again, breathing in. Exhale, deep in the belly. Curl the head and shoulders up. Inhale, reach the hands wide across the shoulders. Exhale, hollow the tummy. Come a little higher. Maintain that height. Hands come up, back behind the head and hold. And again, breathing in. Barely rest on the ground there. Exhale, curl it up. Inhale, reach the hands. Exhale, deep in the belly. Draw the tummy a millimetre flatter here if you can. Inhale, hands come up and behind the head, hold, and lowering it back down. Two more repetitions to go. Exhale, sink the tummy and curl. Inhale, reach the hands. Exhale, lower tummy up and in as you curl higher. Reach those hands back up and behind the head and hold, and lowering it back down. And final one, inhale. Exhale, pelvic floor lifts. Reach the hands. Zip the lower tummy up towards the belly button. Reach the hands back up high. Hold it there, take a breath in. Exhale, lowering it down. Okay, from here we're going to take it into some obliques. So again, exhale, sink the tummy, curl the head and shoulders up. Deep in the belly here. Now we're going to reach one hand on top of the other, reaching forward in front of you. But if you notice any tension in the neck here, feel free to take one hand or both back behind the head for some support. From here, maintain the height of the body. You're going to exhale, rotate to one side. Breathe into centre, exhale, rotate to the other side. Breathe into centre. Lower tummy stays zipped up and in the whole time. You want to think of your hip bones staying really, really level here. 
It's like if you had one of those little builder spirit levels resting across the top of the hips, there would be no rock or shift in the pelvis at all here. Each time you come through center, see if you can almost lift like a millimeter higher. The temptation is to drop down there, so don't let yourself. Inhale through center, exhale. Let's just do one more each side here. You should be really starting to feel those abdominal muscles work at this point. Inhale, back to center, hold. Exhale, lowering it back down. Well done. Let's from here float one leg to tabletop, deep in the belly, and float the other leg as well. The hands come back behind the thighs, and we're going to go into our little assisted roll up here. So we take a breath in. As you breathe out, you float the head and shoulders, you press the back of the thighs away into the hands. You're going to hollow the tummy, round the body forward, and stack up tall. Breathe in here. Breathe out, slide the gaze down, slide the tailbone under. Now the trick to get the movement here is to really think of that tailbone sliding under. The more you can get the tailbone under, the more scoop in the tummy and the more lengthening through the lower back you get. And that will make it easier to articulate all the way down. Breathe in there, exhale, float the head and shoulders deep in the belly, press the back of the thighs away into the hands, hollow the tummy, and stack it up tall, grow. Breathing in. Breathe out again, slide the gaze down, slide the tailbone under, really think lower tummy up and in, draw the belly away from the thighs as you roll it back. Inhaling there, again exhale, start to float head and shoulders, lower tummy up and in, press the thighs away into the hands, hollow the tummy and stack. Once more down and up, take a breath in, breathing out, slide gaze down, deep in the belly, draw it in even more. Inhale once you're down, exhale to start to float the head and shoulders deep in the belly, press the thighs away into the hands, and then stacking it up tall. Okay, from here we're going to have a little fun. We're going to do an exercise called rolling like a ball. So bring the feet a little closer in towards you. One hand takes hold of the opposite wrist. And you're just going to find a little balanced position, just balanced on your sitting bones with the feet slightly off the floor. The movement from here. You slide your gaze down, slide the tailbone under really deep in the belly. You're going to inhale to roll back, exhale to come up and find a little balanced position with the toes just off the ground. So once again, slide tailbone down. Now make sure the gaze goes down. Don't throw your head back here. You've got to keep the gaze going down rather than throwing it up towards the ceiling. A lot of people start to throw the gaze up and then you'll see their whole spine flattens out. They can't complete the movement. So let's try that again. Tail slide the gaze down, slide the tailbone under deep in the belly. Inhale back. Exhale up, find the balance. Stay curved into that little ball. Two more. Inhale, deep in the belly, roll it back. Each time I roll back, I'm coming just till the weight's between the shoulders. Exhale, bring it back up tall. And then with control, take the hands behind the thighs, slide the gaze down deep in the belly, and roll the body all the way to the floor. Well done. Let's take the feet down to the floor now. Left leg goes out straight along the ground. Hug the right knee into the chest just for a little moment and really let that left leg hang heavy. Now from here, we're going to take that left, the, sorry, the right leg to tabletop. Extend the leg up towards the ceiling. Now if you can't get the leg fully straight here, that's fine. You can do this exercise with a little bit of a bent leg as a regression, but work it eventually towards straight. I want one hand on top of that opposite hip and the other hand onto the lower rib just to give you some feedback because we want this area to stay really stable. You're going to breathe in, you circle the leg across the body as you exhale, sweeping the leg out to the side and back up. Inhale, bring the leg across the body. Exhale, sweep the leg up and pause. Inhale, deepen the belly, take that leg across and up. Now as you continue here, the goal is to stay really, really stable through centre. So you should be able to feel your tummy sinking flat the whole time. The pelvis stays perfectly stable. There's no rock or shift in the spine at all. It's simply purely that leg moving. Pause at the top there, reverse the direction. Inhale, take the leg around. Exhale, sweep it up and catch. Inhale, deep in the belly and sweep it up and catch. Lengthen the muscles through the front of the hip as the leg lowers down. And that will allow a nice smooth fluid movement without any clunking or catching in the hip, which sometimes other people feel. So lengthen a little through the front of the hip. That's it. Now hug that knee in towards the chest, give it a little stretch and a release there, and then extend that leg out long along the ground. Bring the other knee in, hug it in, take a stretch. Let the right leg drop really heavy down onto the floor there and then extend the leg to tabletop and towards the ceiling. We start by circling the leg across the body. Take opposite hand 
to the opposite hip and then other hand to the lower ribs. Inhale, circle the leg across the body, exhale and pause at the top. Inhale, sweep it across, exhale and pause. You want to imagine the thigh bones circling really freely and easily within the hip socket. Deep in the belly. So the lower tummy zips up as the hip muscles lengthen to allow the leg down. One more repetition here. Exhale up, pause, reverse the direction. Inhale, take it out to the side. Exhale, catch. Inhale, take it around. See if you can think of deepening that belly even more. The back stays heavy towards the floor. So as the leg lowers down, you want to really watch that there's no lift of that lower back. Deepen the belly in, last circle, hold it there. Bend the knee in towards the chest, hug it in towards you. Okay, from here, bring both knees in. We're going to do a little roll up into sitting. So we take a breath in, exhale, press the back of the thighs away into the hands, deep in the belly, and roll it all the way up through the spine, stacking tall. From here, we're going to take it into a little bit of spine mobility work. So we want your feet just about mat width apart. Now, the traditional position is sitting with the legs straight and a really upright body. For a lot of us, if we don't have great hamstring length, we might be a bit tucked under here. So if that's the case, if you had trouble sitting upright like this, Bend your knees, okay? And try and find that little curve in, in your lower back. So either legs bent or straight, whatever is most appropriate for you at this point in time. Floating the arms up in line with the shoulders. We take a breath in. Exhale, nod the chin to the chest. You're gonna roll down through the spine, one vertebra at a time. Reaching the fingertips forward towards the wall in front as the belly button peels through the back towards the wall behind. Breathe into the back of the body there and then exhale and re-stack up through the spine. You're stacking the little vertebra like building blocks, one on top of the other. Inhale, lengthen even more. Exhale, nod chin to the chest, roll it down through the spine, reaching fingertips forward. Breathe into the back of the body. Exhale, re-stack, sitting bones, one vertebra. Then the next, then the next, growing tall. And final repetition here, exhale, nod chin to the chest, lower tummy draws up and in, scoop the belly, breathing into the back of the body, and then exhale and restack, sitting tall. From here, open the arms out to the sides of the room, reach the fingertips out to the sides, grow a little taller again, take a breath in. As you exhale, you're going to rotate to one side, growing even taller as you do so. It's like you're corkscrewing taller. Breathe in, bring the body back to centre. Exhale, wrap the ribs and rotate the other way. Breathe into centre. Exhale. Now, as we rotate here, the movement comes just from the spine. Exhale to rotate. Inhale to centre each time. So you want no rock or shift in the pelvis at all. And if your pelvis is staying perfectly stable, you'll feel the sitting bones at the bottom of the pelvis staying very, very still and there'll be no movement in your feet on the mat. So if your feet are shifting, it's a sure sign that your pelvis is twisting. One more each side, exhale to rotate, breathe into center, exhale, rotate, breathe into center. Now from here, we exhale, we scoop the tummy, we reach the hand towards the outside of the opposite leg. Now it could be towards the lower leg or if you're flexible, it could be down towards the outside of the little toe. Choose your appropriate range. Reach that hand forward, reach the back arm back, Draw the belly back through the spine. So this is rotation and flexion of the spine. Breathe in, bring it back tall. Exhale, rotate the other way. Inhale, lift and grow. Exhale, wrap the ribs. Breathing in to come back up tall. Exhale, draw the belly back through the spine. Inhale, grow. One more each side. Exhale and reach. Breathe in to bring it back up tall. And final one, exhale, reach. And bring it up tall. Relax the arms down there. Okay, let's come down onto our sides. Bottom leg is bent up at 90 degrees, bottom arm is extended. You're going to find a little sense of length through the waist here. The top leg floats up and then just lowers down. And just continue with that movement there. Now as you continue here, what I want you to think about is your back is stacked up and against an imaginary wall behind you. Back of the head, mid-back, backside, all in line against the wall. So you don't get to watch what's going on with your leg. Instead, your gaze goes directly forward and slightly up. Keep the length through the top half of the waist. And we have just a couple more repetitions here. That's it. Now, from here, take the leg up, maintain that position, little circle, circling for 10, 9. Keep length through the waist. 6, 
five, good, four, three, reach longer, last one, reverse the direction, take it high. You really try to reach long through the leg and create a sense of space within the hip joint. So the thigh bone can rotate very, very easily without any rock or shift through the body. From there, lower the leg down. Have both legs bent, one on top of the other. Bring your feet back in line with the sitting bones. The knees tip towards the floor, hips stay stacked, and the top knee spirals open and then closes back down. We often call this one clams. So the top knee opening up like the top of a clamshell opening up. Each time the thigh rotates open, you want it to rotate only as far as you can without that top hip rolling back at all. The hips stay perfectly stacked. Think of a little sense of zip up through the lower tummy. And if you've got the hand on the ground in front of you for a little balance or support, check the hand is very light there. You don't need a lot of weight into it at this point. One more repetition here. You should be starting to feel the burn through the leg muscles there. Now from here, open the leg, extend it to straight, bend it in and close down. We just have five repetitions here. Open, extend, bend in, close down, keep the tummy connected, reach the leg long, stay tall through the top of the head. So good posture the whole time. That's it, we've got just one more repetition to go. Spiral it open, reach it long deep in the belly a little. Draw the leg back in and lower it down. Well done, lower those legs. Let's turn our head to the other end of the mat. We'll do the other side. So from here again, bottom arm is extended. Bottom leg bends up to 90 degrees. Find that little sense of length through the top half of the waist. And we're just gonna float that leg up. Now, as you continue with the movement, again, take a moment to check in on your posture here. So back of the head, mid-back, backside, all in line against that imaginary wall behind you. Keep that sense of length through the waist the whole time. So you can think about it from the point of view of keeping length through the waist, or you can think about it from the point of view of the underside of the waist, staying slightly lifted up and away from the floor. You may or may not have an actual gap between your waist and the floor, but that sense of lift should remain. You don't want the waist to collapse each time the leg lifts up. Okay, now from here we're going to take into those little circles. So we take the leg up and we circle around for 10 and 9. Reach long, 8, 7, keeping that body really stable. There's 5, 4, 3, create a little more space in that hip joint. And from there, reverse the direction, press it back and around, 10, Nine, that's it. Eight, seven, reach the leg even longer. That's it, good. And we're almost there, just a couple more repetitions on those circles. Lovely last one. And lower the leg down, knees together. Heels come back in line with the sitting bones, connect the tummy. The feet tip up, the knees are down, and you spiral that top knee open and closing it back. Again, check that that top hip stays really stable. It's like you've got a little spear stabbing you down, stacking those top hip down in line with the bottom hip. Keep the thigh opening a little more if you can. Really work into the end range of the movement here. Finding that nice stability through the body. And just a few more repetitions here. Check you've still got your good posture. You've got alignment through the spine. And don't forget to breathe. All right, spiral the knee open, hold it there, lengthen the leg out, reach long, bend it in and close down. Again, spiral open, zip the tummy as the leg reaches, bend in, close down, three more to go. Reach it long, bend it in, close it down and last two, take it long, bend it in, close it down, final one, reach it long, bend it in and close it down. Well done. Lower the feet there. Let's turn on to our tummies now for some back extension work. So you're going to be lying face down. I want your hands back by your shoulders, elbows slightly lifted. Back of the neck is long and you want to have your lower tummy lifted just a tiny bit so you've got some length through the lower back here. From here we inhale. As you breathe out, slide the nose forward and up, roll the collarbones back over the shoulders. Now you're going to come up through the spine here just as far as you can without any sense of work or compression through the lower back. We're really trying to get the focus into that mid to upper back. From here, once you've come up as far as you can through the mid to upper back, keep the same shape with the body, the breastbone still lifted. Press a little with the hands and come up just a little further, just as far as you can without any dropping or compression into the lower back. 
Lengthen out now from the base of the spine and lower the body down. We take a breath in again here. Breathe out, slide the nose forward and up, roll the collarbones back over the shoulders. Once you've got the lift through the chest, press a little with the hands, continue further up. It might be a little way, it might be a long way, but either way, no compression or work in the lower back as you go. Take a breath in there and exhale and lower it back down. Breathe in again. Breathe out, slide the nose forward and up, roll the collarbones back over the shoulders, lift the chest. Press with the hands, lengthen and elongate through the front of the body. Inhale there, exhale, stretch it out and lower it down. The most common mistake that people make on this exercise is they try and come up too high before their body's really ready and then they just get the work and compression in the lower back. Avoid that. Breathing in, breathe out, slide the nose forward and up, roll the collarbones back over the shoulders, press with the hands, lengthen and lift and then stretch it out and lower it down. One more repetition here, breathing in. Breathing out, slide the nose forward and up, roll the collarbones back over the shoulders, press and lift, and then stretch it out and lower it down. From here, bring your arms down by your sides, palms facing up, wide across the collarbones. Take another breath in to prepare as you exhale, float the hands, the chest, the chin up off the ground. Again, just as far as you can without any drop into the lower back. Inhale, lengthen out to lower it down. And again, exhale, slide the nose forward, lift the breastbone up off the mat. Keep the legs heavy into the floor. The back of the neck is long with no wrinkles in it. Stretch the body out and lower it down. Three more repetitions to go. Exhale, slide the nose forward and up, lift the chest, reach long through the legs, wide across the shoulders. Lengthen out and lower it down. And again, exhale, slide the nose forward and up, send that breastbone up wide across the chest. See if you can challenge the range, come a little higher while still keeping that length through the lower back. And lower the body down. Final repetition, make it perfect. Exhale, slide the nose forward and up. Collarbones are wide, wide across the back of the shoulders. And then lengthen out to lower it down. Okay, from here, bring your hands back by your shoulders. Press with your hands to sit back towards your heels into a little rest position or child's pose as they sometimes call it in yoga, let the head drop forward. Check that this position is comfortable on your knees and ankles. If it feels uncomfortable, please come out of it. But if you are comfortable here, it's going to be a really nice stretch through your lower back. Press with your hands to push your backside down a little more towards the heels. And then from there, just inch the fingers a fraction further forward along the ground away from you. So you're lengthening out through the whole back of the body. Breathe in wide into the sides of the back and the ribcage. And with the exhalation, allow the weight of the body just to melt a little heavier down towards the floor. One more breath here. Inhale wide into the sides and back of the body. And exhale, allow the weight of the body to sink heavy. Now from here, we're going to scoop the tummy and just roll the body up. And we're going to come now into a quadruped position on our hands and our knees. So hands come directly underneath the shoulders, knees come directly beneath the hips. You want your elbows slightly soft so the inner angles of your elbows are looking in towards each other rather than directed forward. Tuck the toes under. From here, keep the back in that nice long neutral line as you sit halfway back towards the hips. And then as you exhale, tailbone leads the way up to the ceiling coming up into an inverted V position. Heels can be a little lifted here. What we want to try and find is that sense of curve in through the lower back so you're not rounding under through the lower back. Think sitting bones wide reaching up to the ceiling. Breathe in, hold, and then as you exhale, allow the body back down towards the floor. Let's try that again. Inhale, sit halfway back towards the heels. Exhale, deep in the belly, press through the hands and the feet to reach the tailbone up to the ceiling. Breathe in, hold that position there, and then lowering the knees back down once more. Final repetition, sit halfway back towards the heels, press with the hands and the feet, lengthen up, inhale, hold, and then lowering that body down. Hold the quadruped position again, check the elbows are slightly soft, shift the body weight ever so slightly forward into the hands. Keep a long line through the back of the body and the elbows stay close towards you as you inhale and lower the elbows Bend the elbows to lower yourself down. Exhale, strong press from the back of the arms to press yourself back up. 
The trick on these ones is to keep that body weight forward in the hands and then you'll really get good work in the triceps muscle running down the back of the arm. You want to try and keep your lats, which are the muscles that run down sort of the back of the armpit, fairly released. Kind of think about releasing your lats up a little and then that'll isolate the work even more to the triceps and it'll also stop you from getting any sense of tension through the neck and shoulders as you go. Now here I don't mind how big or how small your range is. It's more about the quality of the movement and the form. So only go down as far as you can without feeling like your head's pulling forward to complete the movement, for example, or without feeling as though you have to heave or strain to press back up. Everything should feel very smooth and controlled. One more repetition here. Inhale to lower. Exhale, strong press back up. Sit back towards the heels once more. Stretch the body forward. Breathe into the sides of the back and the lower rib cage. And with each exhalation, allow your weight to sink a little heavier down towards the floor. And just rest for a moment. When you're ready, scoop the tummy. Allow your body to roll back up. Very well done. You've made it to the end of your workout. Now remember, if you like today's workout, please click the like button below the video. Subscribe to us at eFit30 to get all of our regular workout updates. And also feel free to come and visit me online at perthpilatesstudio.com. I look forward to seeing you again soon. Mm -hmm.